Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Hello everybody. Okay, let's paint. Let's paint another painting with acrylics. A new bird. Okay, hello, let's see. Hello, Swap Neil. Okay, the colors I have here are titanium white. This uh, this is uh, the Bernice Reef. This is medium yellow, vermilion red, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and agri black. Okay, all my, my brushes are synthetic brushes. You see, I have brown, I have this diagonal brushes, and I have field brown. Okay, let's paint. Let's start painting the background. You have the image in uh, the description box. If any case you can uh, want to paint along with me. Uh, I have a color image here and I have a black and white. Okay, I try always to have a black and white image in order to see more clearly the difference between light and shadows. Okay. And uh, that's an advice uh, every time that you're going to paint something that has so many colors. Maybe that's going to be a little bit difficult to judge the difference between light, mid-tones, and shadows. Okay. Oh. Let's paint the background. Let me see the color. Okay, I'm going to start mixing for the background, just black and white, and I'm going to add orange. Okay. Okay, black and white, a touch of yellow, a touch of red. Okay, it looks kind of greenish. I need more red. Okay, that was too much red. I need more yellow. And white and black. Okay, I think this color is okay. Let's see. Yeah, uh, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. I have traced it and uh, the drawing. Not to save time. Uh, so sorry, I know I know the the type, uh, the kind of bird, this bird. Uh, I just the only thing I know that's beautiful. Okay. Hello, Mar. Hello, Michael. Oh, Swapnil is asking me my cam my canvas. Yeah, I prepared my canvases with three layers of gesso. Okay, I add uh, the gesso with a ruler. I have it here, a ruler, a plastic ruler like this. I apply the gesso like this, and three layers and. After that, I apply a layer of acrylic for to tone down the canvas. Okay, uh, obviously, uh, you you can buy any any canvas already prepared and add an extra layer of gesso. I mean, it depends. Some people prefer to buy oil primed canvases. In that case, I mean, you don't want to add a layer of acrylic. You need to uh, add oil. 
oil paint. I prefer just uh, acrylic, uh, gesso based canvas. I have a, a lot of uh, small stretcher, stretcher bars that I use at uh, any time to prepare my canvases and sometimes I prepare a really big, big canvas and then I cut that in pieces for painting. No, I mean, I, I think it's better if you just buy any canvas and add an extra layer of gesso. Hello, hello, Deep Abyss. Uh, hello, Maggi. But always, uh, everybody have to be careful. Should be careful with the canvases. Usually, a lot of problems are about just the canvas. When the painting is sticky. It doesn't flow, the, the brush it doesn't go smoothly on the surface. Uh, I remember I used to think that maybe my brushes uh, weren't uh, good, good enough or maybe the brand of paint of painting I was using it wasn't expensive enough. And uh, with time I realized that all the problems usually are about the canvas. Okay, that means that. And uh, what I do, uh, even that uh, sometimes, uh, I mean, if you buy a really expensive canvas, that's gonna be really good. I mean, you don't need to do anything. And, but, uh, I mean, every time that I buy a, a canvas, uh, I add an extra layer of gesso. But you know, 90% of the time, I prepare my own canvases. That's because I paint a lot you know that for me that that's gonna take like you know go to the store maybe buy 100 canvases or go like every week I don't do that I just prepare my own canvases here at home hello Michael hello Gioti Okay, now I have painted the background. Now I'm gonna paint first the blue, then the orange, and the white. Okay, remember the, the, the black and white image, okay? We need that. Usually, uh, when we don't have the volume, the three-dimensionality of the, the object that we are painting, anything, it's because that we just have a mistake on the, on the values. Or darkest or shadows maybe are not dark enough and our lights are not light enough okay let's go with blue here blue here I don't use any medium it's just acrylic and water okay but uh, I don't use anything because I just want the acrylic to dry fast just to the normal the normal dry time remember I mean I count on that to add more and more layers and to work kind of uh, very relaxed because I know that I can, I, I can 
I'm going to be able to fix anything by adding more paint. white this is on light here and light here I see a little bit of light um, uh, blue, not light blue, a little bit of blue here. In fact, it's a little bit darker. Okay. Now, next color. Uh, I always try. I always try to keep my brushes. I mean, I'm gonna keep this brush with blue. I spray water it my brush and I keep it here. I have a triangular table here where I put my brushes. Okay, let's paint the orange. touch of white to make it a little bit opaque you know if I just use uh, yellow and red it's pretty transparent now I see sh shadow here and light here but I'm just going to paint just with one color all this area okay and after painting this I'm gonna make the shadow here I'm gonna paint the shadow. a touch of white okay now let's paint here the white and the shadow here okay I'm gonna whip this brush I'm gonna keep it here on my table now uh, uh, you know that you can clean out your brushes every time with water. I just, I don't know, I got just to do that. I do the same with oil paints. I end up, at the, at the end, I end up using like 10, 15 brushes. Okay, this is just white. I'm gonna just add pure white. You know, here we can think about temperature. That means that if there is a sunlight, definitely this uh, should have a little bit of yellow, this white. Okay, but right now I'm just adding white. A little bit of white here. Now let's paint the shadow. Okay, for the shadow, uh, usually I start with just gray, black and white. And I use the same brush, okay? Here, white, black, and a touch of orange, again, from here. Okay, that's my shadow. Just a minute. A minute. Uh, ¿sí? Papá, ¿te puedo enseñar a cortar el pelo? Sí. 
Yo, what's my my daughter? Okay. Now I have all the colors. I need the shadow here. Yeah. Okay. What else? Oh, let's paint the branch. I'm gonna use the same color here. A bit more orange. Okay. I, I'm gonna spray water. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna mix a darker color, black, red, and yellow. I always use this mixture to uh, get some dark brown. Okay, uh, with this I'm gonna paint. Okay, let me see. Okay. I think I have established all the colors. And now I'm going to start just adding more paint. Uh, keeping always, you know, attention, value. Uh, I mean, if this area is dark on the head, for example, we're not gonna add light here. I have keep adding light here. You add more paint, you can add a lot of paint, but respecting that, okay. And then, uh, as soon as we add more paint, we can start adding a little bit some accents. For example, maybe uh, we can pick up a little bit of a pure color and add it like an accent, like a small accent, tiny accent, just to bring more color to uh, the feathers. Okay. Oh, hello, Yoti. Hello, Soraya. Thank you. So, Neil is asking me, you daughter also an artist like you? <laughs> hey, uh, she's, uh, I mean, she's 18. Uh, I mean, she's been drawing for years. She, maybe she, since she's 12. And uh, you know that uh, what can I say? Maybe she's an illustrator. Yeah, I think that's and she's an illustrator. And you know, she's paint like the whole. She's like every day drawing and uh, basically with watercolor and and digital. Okay. In fact, I promised her to go to buy a, a tablet today, and she's uh, she told me a minute ago that she want she wanted to send me some money to my PayPal account, and then just the the money. I mean, she doesn't want me to buy her tablet. She wants to put some money, and that's pretty good. Yeah? Okay, this is too dark. You know, I add a brush stroke. If you, uh, if you use another brush that is wet, but it's, I take out, I take out the excess water with my fingers like this, and now I do this. Okay. 
okay, it's like fading one color on top of the other. Okay, this brush it has a, a little bit of white, that's why you see this color. Uh, try to use a, a clean one. Okay. And that's one way just to blend. Obviously, uh, it's not blending, you know, blending is when the painting is wet, but this is one way to kind of get some blending effect. Okay, every time I add a brush stroke like this, I pick up a clean brush, a little bit wet, and you do this. Okay, that's enough. If you want to blend like oil paint, hey, you gotta paint a little bit faster. You know that I'm painting really slowly. I'm taking my time. You know, if I wanna blend something, if I do this, I wanna I wanna blend that. I just go in on top of that with a wet brush, and that's it. Okay, but first, I don't want this color here. About the amount of paint, you can add as much paint as, as you want. Even if you make a mistake with the color, which here is too uh, light, you just make it darker and go over, over that. Wow, I made a mistake here. I picked up too much black. Okay, I'm adding yellow and red. I mean, this is normal, okay? This is not, that's not la, like, uh, because maybe somebody's a beginner and make a mistake like this when you're mixing the colors. No, it can happen to anyone. It's just like we, I think I was picking up a little bit and I picked up too much black. Now, obviously, you know that I always prefer to use limited palettes like just a simple primary color palette but we can add here burnt sienna burnt amber orange you know a cadmium orange can be perfect here just to add the cadmium orange directly to uh, the canvas without mixing even yellow and red but one thing I mean you want to practice uh, it's better if you mix colors instead of having uh, just the colors ready brush is wet okay it's not that much no I, I dip the brush in water and I do this or you can use a, a paper towel or anything just to take out the excess of water and then you can use the brush for get some blending effect in any case that you want a blending effect sometimes we want like a, a really painterly approach you just say up to anyone okay no uh, the only way that I have to get this uh, feather effect is using the brown brushes okay and I'm gonna go to brush strokes like this okay Here, all over this bird's body. Okay, just like that. Keep, keep this brush apart. I'm gonna use another round brush. Okay. Okay. 
okay for example here for the head blue a touch of white More blue, a touch of cerulean blue, white. This is pretty good. Put some music. Uh, you know that this is pretty relaxing for me. I, I love to paint portraits, but definitely for a portrait, for a portrait, I have to be, I have to focus a lot. For a beard, it's just pretty relaxing. I even, I even want to put some music. It depends about the music you like. Sometimes, sometimes I paint with classical music, and sometimes I, I put, I put, put some the rock. Always checking out the upper image to see light and shadow. Okay. Let's paint. Let's paint the eye. I think the, the, the beak is a little bit smaller. Let's use a round brush.
OK, I need to step back. OK, I think it's OK. Hello, Paramjit. Hello, Mary, how are you? Hello, Umurunda. brush okay that's too light I need to make it darker ultramarine blue and cerulean blue a touch of black Careful with black. Oh, by the way, I saw, oh, uh, are you there, uh, swap, swap, Neil, sorry, maybe I say wrong your name. I saw the painting that you did from the hour painting, the hour, you know, I, paint, I painted an hour about a week ago, I think. Yeah. And just, uh, here is swap, Neil, Swami. Yeah, he painted following the the video. It's pretty nice. Uh, pretty good painting. Okay, let me step back. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna prepare a little bit of uh, the color for the background. I think I have the brush here. No, I don't have it anymore. It was just black and white and orange, yellow and red. I painted the big just too big. Okay. A little bit of light here. Okay, I think I'm gonna I see on the photograph you see a little bit of light here. Yeah. Obviously to add a little bit of contrast, you know. to uh, reduce here a little bit uh, a little bit ok 
Okay, I could need a different brush, a wet brush. I'm just trying to blend a little bit. Okay. Mm, I need more light. Yeah. Remember the acrylic dries a little bit darker. If you add in some light like I'm doing right now, I gotta wait a little bit to see if the color is okay or if I have to light up light up this color a little bit more. You know that I, I have never painted a, a bird uh, when I was a student of a school of art. Not even once. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I remember that we went to the zoo to draw animals. Yeah, but it was more about drawing. You know, bigger animals. And I think it was just maybe, it was just twice in, f in five years. And uh, I mean, that's pretty logic, you know, because in the School of Art, it's not like they are going to teach you how to paint every object that exists in nature. Yeah, we uh, they basically teach you how to uh, first how to paint basic forms, basic shapes, and by understanding basic form forms like a sphere, a square, cylinder, a cone. Okay, the idea is that the student start to just apply that to everything that that the student paints. and starting to, to get the volume, you know, and adding details is just putting more time. But it's more about structure, about uh, values, you know, about color, color theory. You know, you ask uh, maybe uh, an art school teacher, like, I want to paint a beard. A beard, how do I paint? Okay, maybe they're gonna, they're going to send you to paint the spheres. You know, because it has like a spherical, you know, form. And we under, you understand how the light just moves on the surface of a sphere how it goes from the highlight to a midtone to a shadow, then you can use that for painting uh, anything that is rounded. trying to make small small really tiny lines with this side of the brush okay let's step back yeah. Hello, ok, 
Okay, uh, sorry, I don't know you, how to say your name. It's in Arabic, I think. Hello, Dita. Hello, Dita. Okay, I'm gonna try to paint a little bit of details on the head. Using two brushes, two number zero brushes. They're really pointy, round brushes. These brushes are really, really cheap here. You can buy a set of this one, six brushes for uh, two dollars. You know, this is a, these are Chinese brushes. We don't make these ones here. Here's the nose, I think. Yeah. Okay. And um, I want to speak about the School of Art, my School of Art, because I just started to remember more and more things. And, and I remember that, like I said, a couple of times we went to the zoo to draw animals. Uh, to be honest, it's been almost more than 30 years. I don't remember exactly. I don't even remember, I mean, uh, uh, if I was drawing, what animal I, I drew at that time, but it was about just drawing. We spent, uh, uh, it was, uh, I think, six hours there just drawing, drawing. You know, when I, ha uh, this, uh, when I have studied art here, it was more about indoors. Everything it was about to be in the uh, the classroom, just painting, painting there, still life, portrait, anything you know. And even I, 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 <laughs> I think I, I, I painted a sea, a sea, seascape, you know, the ocean. I think just twice in five years just twice. The problem sometimes is like, uh, you know, when we went there, uh, we spent on the beach and remember like five hours. I painted for maybe two hours and then I was just having fun. I still remember that. And then my, my painting got all ruined, you know, because we painted with oil. And we went to kind of a far uh, beach, like an hour from here. You know, at the end when I got home, my painting looked like an Astor painting. I couldn't see the ocean, the wave, nothing. I'm trying to uh, make little lines, okay? Always think and remember about thinking about light and shadows, okay? When we don't think about light and shadows, uh, uh, we don't have the volume of any object. That's, I mean, that's the, one of the more important things about painting. Well, so many important things when we paint, you know, ages color contrast but if the values are not okay eh, I mean the painting is not gonna be okay that's why uh, basically the first year on the School of Art is about just painting basically and drawing and painting in black and white black and white it's like they want to train you know, or observation, just to see, just value differences, just light and shadows, light and shadows. 
and we keep painting images with a really high contrast really high, high here are images okay a lot of light a lot of shadow hello Eve Okay, okay, and then after training, like uh, for a year, just with really, really high contrast, uh, still life, basically still life. Uh, we start painting the second year. Uh, was I think it was uh, yeah, just still life, still still life with color, but still with high contrast. Everything was about like just care school and we start just drawing portraits but the sculptures the sculpture we try to draw in the sculptures. Okay, I think that's okay. Yeah. more lines okay 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 I'm going to just to exaggerate the iris okay because it looks just black but I can see on the photograph a little bit of the iris here and a highlight okay I'm gonna add an accent highlight here too Highlight on the beak. Okay. Now I'm not done with uh, the head, but I have to move move on to you know to the body to the chest. Okay, let's continue. Let me wet my brushes here. Okay. I uh you know I'm not done I'm not no not so sure if I always I'm doing right about keeping all my brushes here. I, I just got used to do that. Okay. But I have seen so many acrylic painters just cleaning out the, the, their brushes every minute, every time they are gonna pick up more paint. And they are usually used like three, four brushes, just that. I end up using always, always 10 brushes, 15 brushes. Yeah. Okay, but I gotta be clear that that usually when I try to paint at the Prima, okay, one session. And I don't like to, let's say, go back sometimes and mix a color that. I have mixed maybe 15 minutes ago and if I keep a little bit of that color in one brush, maybe I could use it and that's gonna be a really that's gonna save some time for me on the process you know instead of mixing all the colors again
but definitely when sometimes I paint I paint here at home I just use uh, sometimes one brush or two brushes I have all the time just to be here and paint and clean the brushes sometimes I mean you know it's not always the same Uh, you know, at, at least we are trying to keep some variety on the process. Just to not bore myself. back yeah I think it's okay like I said I'm following the same direction of the feathers with the brush strokes I'm not adding a brush stroke like that all of them are following just the same direction okay and if by mistake maybe I paint something pretty light when it should be dark uh, I'm gonna let it dry and add a glaze and darken up any area which is going to be pretty easy okay That's okay a little bit more white For the people that uh, know that I paint usually portraits, don't worry, I'm gonna be back to painting portraits in a couple of years. <laughs> uh, this week uh, I need, you know, this was just my vacation, my free time from painting portraits. You know, here in YouTube, you know, because I'm still painting portraits. You know, I have we have a group. I have group group classes online, and I mean, we paint portraits. I paint portraits uh, in the classes, okay? Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Sundays, and I have to paint a couple of commissions. Oh, I need to spray water on my, my palette. Yeah. Hello, Mickey. Hello, ta Tata. I'm going to paint two birds soon. Okay. Oh, okay. That's pretty good for a gift. Oh, wow. That's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, hello Monique, have you painted all the birds you've done so far in acrylic? Yeah. yeah, you know what, I mean I was about to paint this one with oil paints. But I said, okay, I think that's going to be a good idea to have like a bunch of birds with acrylics. Uh, I did it just because I wanted to put them in a, play a playlist in YouTube. Uh, 
and I would like to paint some in oils uh, and add a lot of paint, make it really thick to add more volume to the painting. You know, with acrylics, I, it's like um, I can, I'm not able to add a lot of paint. One reason first is that it's not gonna dry fast. Okay, if I add thick, thick paint, it's gonna stay here like 20 minutes without drying. And I have experienced that when I have painted a portrait. And I'm counting on this to dry faster because I don't know what I'm doing and adding more and more layers. That's the only thing that... And maybe it's the brand of acrylics I'm using, I don't know. But you know here, you know that this brand it can stay in my palette, these colors here, for three or hours. You touch them and they are still wet. I don't know if that happened to any brand, but Yeah, all the paintings are in acrylic, all these, the burnt paintings. Uh, and with, I think uh, that would be beautiful to paint these birds with pastel. You know, I think that with pastel we can add more intense colors. Without, I mean, it's not like we cannot do, do that with acrylic or oil paint. It's like with pastel it's just, let's say it is a little bit easier. this a little bit more Uh, and the thing that definitely I think that that maybe uh, I'm thinking that maybe painting a bird with oils I could take advantage of obviously the uh, blending and soften some edges and add more uh, roundness to these birds with oils I try to do the same with acrylics but you know because we cannot blend, that, that would be maybe a problem. But anyway, I mean, I love the paintings that I have painted with acrylics. Okay, 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 okay. okay. It's pretty good, I need to spray more water. I'm spraying water on my brushes. I'm adding just white again. I want to dry my brush. Okay, let's add pure white.
I'm going really lightly with the brush. This way I can uh, use the same brush to leave some kind of tiny lines. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, let me... Okay. Here's the brush. Okay. And I do just this. Uh, the idea is just leave tiny marks, okay? I'm gonna wet the brush a little bit. Yep. It's too bright. Yeah, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna just this color here. Let's make this a little bit dark. Hello Jonas, hello uh, Shwini. Okay, yeah, the color here is kind of a J, I see it kind of a yellowish, greenish, no, orange. Okay, uh, to get this color, I mean, obviously I'm gonna add to add some yellow, like a glaze, but I just mix black and white. And a little bit of orange, okay? Okay, obviously if you feel that the color is too greenish, too intense, you add more black and white to grey down the color. A little bit of water. I see here that I need more yellow, but I'm gonna add yellow with a glaze. I, 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 uh, I, it's a little bit easier to control. A yellow here with a glaze. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. white okay Mm, 
let's give it a change to this brush. I was using this brush for white, just to use for white. Okay, I'll try to keep this clean. again I'm trying to have at the same time I, I, it's not like uh, this is my my goal to get those little marks okay it's just uh, I'm trying to get the value right but while I'm doing this if I can get some kind of effect with the brush stroke I'm gonna keep it okay it's not it's not like I'm looking for those things I'm mostly I'm worried about value that means that I want to create this gradation from the light to the shadow Very lightly, I'm not pressuring too much. I'm holding my brush just at the end. Okay, I'm gonna use this color. Okay, I'm gonna change my brush. Okay, this is the brush that I was using here. Okay, I need a little bit of light here. A touch of yellow. I'm gonna paint this brand, this branch. Okay, adding a little bit of yellow because I want to represent the sunlight hitting this branch. Forget to I erase one branch here was here. Yeah, everything I think is okay. I'm gonna add more light to the background to create more contrast. Hello, Mary is asking me would, would a hot brush be good to use for those feathers textures? Okay, I mm, maybe, but 
I think a synthetic brush, a really soft is brush is, be is better. I mean, you know what I imagine that if I use a brush, a half brush like this, uh, a smaller one, I'm gonna have a real, I'm gonna have for real some kind of texture, but that's gonna be kind of maybe just hard, maybe kind of harsh, you know, to get a kind of a soft texture. I think it's gonna be better just uh, a synthetic soft brush, okay? Any brush that you can you use for blending, uh, you know, but it depends. You, I, I cannot say completely that it's not gonna work because I, I haven't tried, I haven't tried that, but I know that uh, the effect that like a hog brush can, uh, can make Maybe if let's say that the bird is like three times this size, maybe with a half brush making those lines that would mean a bit, that's gonna be perfect. You know. Okay, uh, I was thinking about the background. Adding more water. It's not like I'm making a glaze, but definitely uh, by adding more water and making the painting more transparent. What I'm trying to do is just uh, let's say right now we see that like kind of uh, this pretty light. Okay? But remember the acrylic dries a little bit darker. And if you add more water, okay, we're gonna see more of the color that's beneath and that means that after this dry it's not gonna be that light it's gonna be a little bit darker okay I love the contrast this contrast yeah I wanna add a little bit more light here yeah because I don't want kind of the same light all the contour you know Yeah, I like it. Now, let me step back. Okay, you can feel the roundness because the idea is you can feel that some, this is something round and not something flat. If you get that right, it's, it's, it's pretty good. You know, color is going to be something that we can just add again and again, again and again, and add more paint, more paint, more paint, you know, to the point to get the color. But no, it's not about co color. It's not gonna make this rounded, okay? It's color, color and value together. Okay, if you think in terms in just color and not in terms of value. Uh, you know that that's that's kind of incomplete. That's why I keep uh, showing a black and white image up here on the corner, and I'm checking out that image from time to time. It's not like I have that image for nothing. I mean, I check out that from time to time and and, and screen down and, and I, I I hope to see the same in terms of light and shadow. Okay, I hope to see the, the same on my painting. If I don't see the same, I know where, where I have to make it darker. Oh yeah, are you speaking about the critique? Tomorrow's critique? Yeah, you don't have to be in the tomorrow tomorrow uh, live critique session, Mary. If you just post the painting, that's gonna be okay. You know, because I'm, I'm doing these critiques pretty early in the morning. Or maybe if you want to get into a critique, I can leave your painting for the end. Yeah, and Usually, you don't have to be there like the whole critique just for your painting, and that's, that's it. Oh, uh, could you give caption, please? Caption, uh, caption subtitles. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Sorry, I will try. Okay, next time. I think I saw the option. 
And I thought, okay, that's caption. Hey, I didn't activate that option. Hey, I, so sorry about that. Okay, you see, I'm still stepping back. Yeah, I think I'm getting this okay. Mm. Yeah. Even, uh, you know, my background is different from the photograph. My intention was to get the same background, this kind of orangey. But now that I have this one, I think this one creates more contrast with the orange. Okay. Yeah, and I love this kind of light. And I love this dark here. Yeah. What about if I make this darker even? This area. Mm-hmm. Could be, yeah. To create more, co you know, more contrast. What it does is just uh, make the light areas just pop forward even more. You know. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure about that. I have to continue painting the the head. And what else? Okay. I'm gonna paint the branch. Yeah, I'm gonna paint the branch. Okay, just moving the image to see just the branch. For my palette knife to add some color on my palette. Okay. Okay, I don't have the palette knife here. I I, I don't know where is it. I can. I wanna try to. And speaking about when I was speaking about critiques, for the people that don't know, I have a Patreon account, and we paint uh, Saturdays. Paint alone. We ha I have live uh, paint alone lessons on. Uh, I use Zoom, and this way we all can share our paintings. I can see, you know, we all can we all can see our paintings, and uh, Fri Fridays. Fridays we uh, we have a critic live session. Okay, people post the, their paintings on our private Facebook group, and then I critique them Friday. And what I do, I I paint on top of the paintings using Photoshop to uh, make some corrections.
I don't think I need this branch here. A little bit, just a little bit, just there. Fanchon, okay, thank you, Nikki. The sub do it background makes the little bird just pop in colors. Yeah, Fanchon is asking me, Hello, Fanchon, why you don't black ground before the bird? Okay. Do you mean this area, or do you mean all the background? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was thinking about. Darken up this area. I was thinking about that. I think it's going to create a nice contrast with the branch and the beard, but I'm not so sure yet. Okay. Yeah, maybe I can do it. Yeah, I think I'll do it, but not, not, no, not at this moment. Using this brush stroke just to kind of follow the, the form of the branch. You know the color is not it's not the same but I'm gonna add maybe a little bit of orange at least maybe not so sure yet. Uh, right now I'm just thinking that uh, okay uh, uh, if I add I see a little bit of red here a little bit of orange uh, you know that, but I think that this yellow, yellowish color, maybe it's not right. This color is not okay for here, but definitely, uh, I think just it adds the right contrast. Uh, I could be wrong, I, you know, and at the same time, if I darken up the background, mm, okay, maybe. Uh, this yellow here is gonna glow with this and this, the three of them. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Monique. Monique is he's saying that. Uh, why I didn't paint first the background? Okay, I painted first the background. <laughs> I started with the background. Uh, but definitely, I mean, we have to be adjust the background. You know, I light up this area. And now I'm thinking about darkening up here, but I, I mean that wasn't my. Uh, that I, I didn't talk about. I didn't think about that at the beginning. I'm thinking about about that right now because, just with the intention, just to create more contrast. Like uh, so many things that I'm thinking right now, uh, for example, I'm thinking about the shadows here, adding maybe a little bit of vi violet here on these darks, okay, a little bit of violet here, a little bit, okay, just a little bit, a little bit of yellow here, you know, I'm thinking about those things, uh, maybe uh, I, uh, I won't do any of those because it's just like uh, uh, having so many options and I think okay how I can make this beautiful for me for my eyes for what I think you know because I, if I copy the painting exactly the way it is it definitely is beautiful you know but it's kind of I just want to uh, satisfy my 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 appetite for trying to make a change and 
make add some nice color that I'm gonna just add more contrast, more to value contrast and temperature contrast. Yeah, it's just a little bit, okay? It's just a little bit. And I'm just sharing with you what I think. It doesn't mean that I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm painting this just with black, you know, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna add purple here, maybe, or a touch of blue. Why not blue? But yeah. And maybe a touch of red here on the on the foot, the the, the uh, clo close, 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 close. Yeah. No, for example, I'm gonna do something that I was saying about. I need another red. This is vermilion. If I want to add uh, purple, I need some cadmium red. Okay. Oh, this is not cadmium red. This it says brilliant red, but it's pretty pretty close to a cadmium red. The point is that vermilion is like a, it has a little bit of yellow. It's a little bit orangey, and I'm not, not gonna be able to get a, a violet with, you know, with an orangey red. For example, this color here. Okay, too dark. I'm gonna light up this a little bit. And here. I know that maybe it's nothing, maybe it's like a, a who cares about this small portion, you know. But by by adding those small portions I adding color to the whole painting, okay? Yeah, for example a little bit of Red, pure red, just like a glaze. Here, maybe. Here, I'm not change. I'm not gonna change the black, okay? But definitely with red, that's gonna be a little bit different. Okay. Obviously, maybe if you read the painting from a distance, you're gonna see just black. Because the red, as soon as it gets dries, it kind of disappears. But it's there, okay? It's there. Cleaning out these two small brushes. Okay, now for example, speaking about color, I'm gonna just uh, make this pretty transparent, almost no paint, and I'm gonna add it here. Okay, I see this on, on the photograph. Uh, let's wait for this to dry and maybe I added too much of this green but that's okay I think that's not gonna you no know, it's pretty close yeah. now at the same time I can add again this purple a little touch where here Some pure blue. It's dark, but it's, it's pure. It's intense, saturated. Okay. And 
definitely add color to the shadow okay pure blue here too But it's too intense. I'm gonna add a little bit of red. That means I'm gonna make this blue a little bit purple. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, just that, some tiny touches. It's not that you have to do this all the time, it's just up to you. I'm just sharing what I think that's gonna add more color to my painting. Okay, and for example, I can mix an orange here. And add a little bit of reflected light here. A little bit of orange. Okay, I see that. I see a little bit of this orangey color. You know, I can exaggerate that a little bit more if I want to. Okay, Nikki. Uh, okay, it looks pretty nice, Nikki. I, I, I just imagining that bird splashing in water. <laughs> Yeah, with that kind of contrast between a loose brush strokes and yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's paint the background a little bit darker it's a little bit darker not dark dark I just want to create a little bit more contrast okay the nice thing about having the palette next to the painting obviously that I can compare you see I can compare and see if this dark is gonna be dark enough or not Let's add it kind of transparent, okay? Not much paint. I want to be able to retouch it. And obviously, you know, when the acrylic is, is kind of transparent, definitely uh, it's not going to be like a solid color. Uh, I cannot leave this kind of like this uh, I need to make this a little bit darker here too just a little bit okay at the same time here a little bit darker too okay
Now obviously I darken up, darken it up here and here, just to keep more light here. Okay. As simple as that, I'm just creating like a an area of light on this branch. Uh, it's just like uh, adding a focal point on on the all the whole branch, and I I, I could exaggerate that by adding more color here, for example. back yeah I like it let's continue working uh, details yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay 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 I'm thinking just thinking yeah, I need to work on the background but a little bit here No, actually this painting is just too thin, too transparent, it's not going to make uh, any change. Okay, what do you think? What do you all think? Do you like it? You know, I love it! <laughs> Did I say not each color is transparent in acrylic? Okay, uh, good to know. Okay, uh, Nikki saying that seemed to add the illusion of depth on their him as he sits in the sun on a branch. Eh. Right, yeah. yeah, I can even uh, maybe just to uh, add more to that illusion. I can add a little bit of this violet, you know, really transparent here, the branch. And let's add a different yellow. Uh, I have here cadmium, cadmium yellow deep hue. Let's add this cadmium yellow deep hue. If I have to compare this, it looks like cadmium yellow. Uh, just, just like the, the cadmium yellow I have here, on, and uh, an oil paint. Okay. A little bit of paint, not too much. Uh, this is like adding a dry brush, you know. And with this I'm trying to add light here obviously and shadow here. And that's why uh, to keep this in shadow I have this cool color, this purple on top of, on top of that, okay.
Okay, let's continue working on the details on the beard. more contrast on the head and the shape of the head is not okay. I, I made the head kind of rounded. Uh, I have to reduce the, the head. Yeah. Okay, I need to just mix the background again. Yeah, Dita, I think you're right about this. Uh, you know, this brand is kind of pretty cheap here. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> uh, I keep buying this uh, cheap material. Uh, but I'm going to try some different brand, okay? Uh, and I, I bought, I don't remember the brand, but I bought some tempera for my daughter and I think she she didn't like it that much and I wanna use it and at the same time I I, I have to use some uh, I have to use some oil, oil, oil soluble uh, water soluble oil paints that I got as a gift from one of my patrons from Mary Chester yeah <laughs> I have to use them. Yeah. I just waiting the the right painting for to try them and yeah, just waiting for that. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker here. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dita, you're right. It's gouge. You know what? Uh, it's gouge. I don't know if I'm saying right, but I forget how to pronounce it. <laughs> and I said tempera, which is easier for me. But it's, it's definitely it's gouge. Soften this edge a little bit, okay. So basically, I fade in a little bit of uh, the background into the head just to kill the edge. A little bit. Now, you see closer, you're gonna see a little bit of this color on top of the blue. Okay, let's work some details on the head. I'm cleaning these two brushes. I'm gonna use them for making details. Yeah, mixing cerulean blue and white.
Hey, I'm gonna, uh, oh, thank you, Nick, Nick. No, I didn't get it yet, but it's pretty sure the, uh, you know, uh, Nikki Swainson here, she's another of my patrons. She sent me, uh, what's the name of this? Uh, this, the last, I think, uh, a set of uh, graphite pencils. She sent me a, a, a graphite, uh, a set of graphite pencils, and, and I'm gonna try them. Yeah, I think that's the, the, the ones that uh, this, Oh, sorry, I don't remember. That was the ones that uh, that's kind of a uh, new, soft, uh, opaque. Sorry, opaque graphite. Yeah, so sorry. You know, sometimes I just thinking on the painting and I cannot speak and think at the same time. Okay, sometimes. Okay, I think it's better. I need to add more darks. I'm adding lights, but I need more darks. And maybe I need to knock down this color. A glaze of red, I think, it could be okay. A cadmium red. You can see some, if you zoom in the image, you're gonna see some kind of blue here, but kind of violet here. Purple, violet purple. No. There are so many colors that. Maybe we're not gonna get just by mixing them on the palette. We need to uh, add a glaze. Okay. Oh, uh, Monique is saying pronounced like woo, go wash, go wash, woo wash. <laughs> okay, thank you, wait. Yeah, yeah, oh, Nikki saying that 14B non shine. Yeah, that would be nice to try. Okay, I'm mixing a darker blue, really dark blue. See, I need some. Okay, I find it kind of difficult to paint the nose. Yeah. A little bit darker here. I squint it down a little bit darker again here. Okay, I'm gonna pick up pure black to paint uh, the pupil. Okay, and paint around the iris. Oops, looks my camera. It's not working, okay, okay. Okay, let's add some pure blue, ultramarine blue. Here, pure, 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 pure. A little bit thicker. Let's combine with this a little bit of a pure cerulean blue. Okay, now again, ultramarine blue. Just trying to get a little bit of intense blue there. 
uh, yeah, kind of it's gonna be kind of difficult to get to the right value here. I'm gonna make it darker, but at the same time intense. Definitely, I need a different blue. Well, anyway, let's continue. Add a glaze and make this a little bit darker. Okay, and here a little bit darker. I'm just adding a glaze, okay. Again, a darker color, darker brown, blue, red, and yellow. Hello, blog, uh, vlog. Mm. Let's continue this. I'm gonna add this like a, as a glaze, make this a little bit darker here, a little bit darker here. Some lights. Okay. More lights here. Okay, uh, I'm adding a little bit of yellow here. I don't see this yellow on the photograph. But, I mean, I think, you know, uh, it's going to work to make, uh, you know, if you add pure white, definitely that's a highlight. You add a touch of yellow, that's going to glow a little bit more, okay? And now it's up to you. It just, uh, sometimes I just love to add a little bit of yellow to the white. Just a little bit, okay?
this okay okay I'm gonna use this color again here just some touches Warrior to make it a little bit transparent. Okay, I'm forgetting to paint this area. Okay. I think you cannot see this area. No? Oh, okay, I'm zooming in this. Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was zooming, zooming in the the uh, the image. I try to keep always an order on my palette, but today I just lost the order. You know, I paint basically light colors here and dark colors here, and today is just it's a mess. That happens, but try to keep an order as much as possible. It's better, okay, to keep an order and the values. It's for. It's better for everything. You know, I try really hard to do that, but it's difficult sometimes, but, you know, I'm going to try to mix here. Uh, at the same time, I have small palette, but a palette is always, it's not just, uh, the order of the palette kind of reflects the order of the painting, a value order, a value distribution, temperature distribution, okay? I always remember a teacher, you know, uh, a teacher that he used to always, all his students, they used to paint pretty, pretty like, uh, how, can I, uh, how can I tell you, okay, he was kind of forced every student on his atelier, okay, on the School of Art, because a teacher is just kind of, uh, is in charge of one Atelier and then another one and you can find like let's say uh, the uh, four year like a, a student your painting may be the human figure yeah? and You have a uh, four classroom classrooms for the human figure every classroom with a different teacher and you kind of choose Which one do you want uh, to be to study with? Okay and usually when uh, you gotta be earlier to pick up the notebook because it's like everybody want, wanted to study with one teacher and then when you get there the, the, the classroom was full and then you move to the, the other one, the other one was full and it's something like that okay. and I remember this classroom all the students they when you see uh, their palettes, they were in a pretty, pretty clean order between cool colors, uh, warm first, warm colors, neutral colors, and cool colors, okay? And at the same time, 
the upper part of the palette was light for light colors and the lower part for darker colors. It was pretty nice to see that kind of order, but they use a palette like the size of this painting, you know, even bigger. And that's what we need. Okay, I think I squinted down my eyes. Look at the black and white image. You don't see this kind of light there. Yeah? Hey, I have a value mistake here. I have to darken up this. Yeah, I will do it. I will do it in a minute. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was thinking just about this. I need to darken up this. Okay, uh, hello, uh, Krista here from Greece. Hello, blog by Artistic Girl. <laughs> hello, Benlin. Okay, hello, Giacinta, thank you. Mary saying a, a very, a very sweet tweet here. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't get it. I mean, I, I think it's a joke, but I don't. I don't get it. You, you, you need to explain that to me, Mary. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What is it in June? I guess I can do, I don't know what else to do. I, 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 I want to do something more. I don't even know. I'm missing this little feather here. feel that I should add something more. I think volume is okay. I don't like this white here. Yeah, but it's okay again. Uh, maybe it's about the background. Mm. I think I can add a little bit of uh, maybe some glazes to the background. But let's see if I add here you know I cannot use this color anymore these colors anymore I have to use them okay and I cannot save them okay, and I'll throw them here in the background okay this is too bright okay, let's see here I think that's okay. Let's put more blue here. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, hello, Latix. Is the beer a blue J? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Time is in two hours. I think it's just. I think it's okay for now. Yeah.
I think that's it. Uh, you know, I'm trying to make this area of the branch just come forward and this to reset a little bit, you know, to create a, kind, a little bit of perspective on this branch. Mary saying, I hope you will like then what it mixes up. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I will like it. Uh, practice, practice in a closet. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> if you don't want anyone to see. No, no, <laughs> practice here. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Uh, okay, what is, what is, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, I guess that, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you like it. And I hope you have, uh, you all have learned a little bit from this. You know, we learn every day a little bit. Okay, and see you tomorrow. I'm just checking out for the last time. Squinting, checking. Hey, that's it. That's it. Take care, everybody. Take care. See you next time. Okay. If you say bye, Renzo, beer, take a beer. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Thank you for being here.